Uh, if I'm being honest, um, I used to start off as a defender because I, I always like getting the ball first. And as you can see in our team, our centre-backs have a lot of the ball. Um, but then there was just one day where I thought, let me just start off a bit higher. And then um, I can remember in the cages, um, I'm from central London, but I kind of grew up in South London. And um, there was this cage where everyone just used to come out when, because it was me and my little cousin that always used to play. Everyone used to come out and um, we would always have the football. And there was one guy called Junior, he just amazing skills and I learnt most of them from him, if I'm being honest. And from then on, I just fell in love with tricks and worked every day in that cage to make sure I perfect these skills because it's something that I love. And I thought, then we just work at it and perfect it. And that's how I came about across skills. Was the cage just a, almost like a five-a-side pitch, I feel like? Um, is, was it just an area that you could go, as you say, and, and work on your skills? Yeah, it was just like a normal concrete five-a-side pitch and people from the local area would just come about and express their skills and I just picked up so many different skills from so many different people and just combined it and made it all into my own. So um, yeah, I've, I've learnt my skills from, from the area, like South London. So. And were you playing for a, a local team back then at the same time, uh, as well as playing in the, in the cage and developing your skills there? Um, no, I weren't. I was, I had no team then, I was just playing football for fun. And um, as you can see, I, well, it comes across as if I'm being disrespectful sometimes because of my style of play, like the way my body language is, but um, it's no disrespect, it's just my type of swagger. And um, yeah. So once you moved into a team environment, when you started playing in a team, uh, how did you find that moving from practicing your skills to actually implementing that into games? Yeah, at the start it was quite hard because um, I used to be really greedy and um, like really greedy. <laughs> and um, I used to um, I used to just try and beat everyone. Like if if I didn't beat that person, I'd go back and beat him again to make sure that I beat him, and then my coaches were just getting really frustrated with me. And then um, they, they played me back in the fence to learn some discipline of passing the ball, but it didn't work. But eventually um, my dad talked some sense into me, dad and mum, and just said, um, you got to release it. You can still do your stuff, but make sure it's in the right areas, but just release it in the um, more risky areas because you don't want to give a goal away. And when did you notice that maybe scouts from teams or um, managers or coaches or whatever were, were taking an interest in you? Um, I think it was when I was about on year six. Um, I played for a team called Tuna Mitchum. They were like a semi-pro team back then. Um, that's the first time I got scouted for Chelsea and Tottenham. Um, but I got sent to Tottenham first. So um, I'd done a six week trial, then got signed and the rest is history. Did you look up to, to one particular player back then? Was there one player that you, you idolised and you thought, I, I'd love to base my game on his game? Ronaldinho, full stop. Just Ronaldinho, just every time I used to see Barcelona on the field, um, on the TV, I'd tell everyone to be quiet and I'd just focus on him, player cam him throughout the whole match. And he always used to play with a smile on his face. He always used to make me smile watching him and it was just great to watch. Is that your aim when you play, to, to put a smile on the faces of the fans who are, who are watching you to try and entertain, but as you say, be a team player as well? Exactly, um, entertain and be a team player. I love to I play with a smile on my face and I love to see other people smiling at the way I play and knowing that they're happy with the way I'm playing. It, it just makes me happy, so I hope that I've entertained all the fans so far.